and happy Coffee Convo Wednesday. I am Cindy Simmons. I will be your host as I am every single week here on Coffee Convo Wednesday. I want to give you a special cheers. It's a pumpkin spice for life kind of cheers this morning. You know why? Because it is official. Pumpkin spice lattes are back. Why am I so excited about that? I am, but we're going to get to that in just a minute. Um, this is Coffee Cava Wednesday for Wednesday, August 29th. It's almost September, which, which in my brain makes it officially fall. Um, this is episode 124. If this is your first time joining us for Coffee Cava Wednesday, welcome. Grab a cup of coffee, tea, smoothie, hot chocolate, water bottle, whatever you are drinking this morning. Sit back and relax. Uh, this is how it works. We're here for about 15, 20 minutes. Chat about some stuff going on in the world, some funny stories, and at the end, I always give you a giveaway. Today, three of you are gonna get something super fun. So grab your coffee and I submit to you a pumpkin spice cheers. Now, while this isn't technically pumpkin spice today, I did go to Starbucks yesterday and had my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. I do love pumpkin anything, I really do. I've tried pop pumpkin Pop-Tarts, pumpkin Oreos, pumpkin whatever. As long as pumpkin is in the title, I'm going to eat my face off. So thank you, Mom, for the uh, coffee yesterday and a good morning and cheers to you. The first sip of the morning. I do try and wait to have my first sip with you guys every Wednesday morning. So like I said, we're going to be here for about 15 or 20 minutes. We're going to talk about random things and then I give you something great and you get to skedaddle on your day. It's sort of a way to get a break in the middle of your week, in the middle of your Wednesday morning. So if this is your first time, thank you. If you're coming back, thank you for returning. Um, yeah, pumpkin spice seems to be all of the talk of the town. And in case you don't care about pumpkin spice and you start to get on that, you're basic bandwagon, that's what I say to you. Whatever. Whatever. You know why? Because it's fall and I realize I live here in Florida. But in uh, anywhere, if you want to wear your Ugg boots or your hoodie or your scarves and you want to drink your pumpkin spice latte and that makes you basic, then I say bring on the basic. I'm basic and I don't care. So today. Okay, first up on Coffee Come Wednesday's day, <laughs> such a funny story. So I saw Pierce Brosnan, you know, James Bond, Tom Scrum Fair. Okay. If you're like, what? Right. It actually wasn't Pierce Brosnan, so I'm gonna like ruin the end of the story. But listen what happened. So I go to this coffee shop with my neighbor last weekend, and we walk down with the kids, and we go to our favorite coffee shop. It's this French cafe, Rosalie, in downtown Winter Garden, which I love here in Florida, which is where I live. And so I'm in there with her and her kids, and I look over and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's Pierce Brosnan. Because from the side, this guy was Pierce Brosnan. Not even kidding you, Pierce Brosnan. And my mama Jane, who lives with us, loved Pierce Brosnan because she's obsessed with James Bond and all the James Bonds. So she loves Pierce Brosnan. And I'm like, <gasps> and I realized, wow, that's not him. But my goodness gracious, that guy looks just like Pierce Brosnan. So a couple minutes later, I don't see him again, but I have to walk up to the counter at Rosalie to ask something about our order. And he's standing right there. And I'm like, I think I'm just going to tell him because clearly I'm not shy. So he's seeing me there and I hear him, I don't know, ordering or something. He's like, I like funky sandwich. I'm like, oh gosh, he's even British. Maybe it is Pierce Brosnan. I said, excuse me, um, sorry to bother you. And I don't mean this in the weird, I'm hitting you on you kind of way because I'm happily married. I don't know why I feel the need to preface that before I give a compliment to a man or a woman because I'm always doing that because it just makes me happy to notice great things about other people but I digress. And he's like, yes. <laughs> Worst British accent ever. So I said, I just got to tell you, I mean, you look so much like Pierce Brosnan. It is crazy. He's like, oh, thank you so much. I actually was his stunt double for 20 years. What? I was like, get out. And then I had nothing. I felt all awkward. Like, I just wanted to talk to him so much. And then all of a sudden, I got nervous because he said that. And I was like, uh, 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 all right, okay. 
And so I said nothing else. <laughs> it just stood there. Yes, that's my coffee. Thank you. And I took it and went back to my friend. And I said, oh my goodness, I have to tell you. I just saw Pierce Brosnan. Well, his look like. My mom's going to flip out. <laughs> Why I didn't talk to him, I don't know. But because I'm a goofball, I don't know. I mean, I talked to him, but then like I couldn't talk to him because I was like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I guess he could have said something, but he was paying, and so I didn't want to be, like, any weirder than, <laughs> than I already was, because I'm sure he was like, wow, weirdo. So you know what I did? I Googled Pierce Brosnan stunt double, because I am a weirdo like that, which I'm sure most of you know if you've ever watched this show before. Whatever. I embrace it. So I Google it, and there is a Pierce Brosnan lookalike who lives in Orlando, Florida. In fact, he did like some James Bond stunt doubling, doubling thing, I guess you'd call it. Flying from a helicopter for one of the Academy Awards. And he, I guess, I don't know, was hanging on to a helicopter with the Oscar. And that is how the Oscar arrived to the Academy Awards. I'm going to look and see what year that was. But yeah, he did that a long time ago. He lives in Florida. So I kept running home. I'm like, Mom, I just saw Pierce Brosnan's twin at Rosalie, our favorite coffee shop. What? Of course, <laughs> exactly like that. That is exactly how the conversation went because my mother loves Pierce Brosnan. And she was like, you've got to be kidding. Well, I mean, he must live here. And at that point, I had Googled Pierce Brosnan stunt double, AKA Cindy the Creeper. <laughs> so she was so excited. So now actually she's probably watching and I forgot to tell her. Mom, I did Google him, and he lives here in Orlando, so there is a chance we could see him again. Because my mom was like, oh, well, do you think we're going to be able to see him again? And I said, I have no idea, Mom. How would I know that? I don't know, but we go to Rosalie frequently, so now, I don't know, I'm going to be on the lookout for the Pierce Brosnan lookalike so my mom can meet him. Oh, he's British. Stop! I'm telling you, little things in life. And it's funny because... My whole background is radio, so I have been very fortunate enough to interview many, many, many people, including many of my favorites, Katy Perry, Harry Connick Jr., Duran Duran. I mean, so many fun people, Janet Jackson, Gwen Stefani. Okay, you get the idea. So I've interviewed many, many, many people in my radio career. So why I would get excited to see Pierce Brosnan? I don't know, I guess maybe because it was so random and I really thought it was him for a minute, and it wasn't, but then, oddly enough, I was still as equally as excited to meet his stunt double. <laughs> See, you guys come to the show because I'm a kook. Kook. All right, next up on Coffee Convo Wednesday. Do you stay or do you go? Do you guys remember when you were kids and you were playing whatever it was, like a sport, um, football, basketball, soccer, cheerleading, uh, swimming? Did your parents attend every game, every match, all of that stuff. Here's why I ask. Okay, so my 13 year old daughter just turned 13, Lily. She is in cheer. She's been doing it. This is her fifth year now, not competitive or cheer, competitive cheer. She just enjoys doing cheer with her friends at school. So her first game is tomorrow night, and I was talking with a friend of mine, and she was saying how she's going to miss the first two games um, because she's having some surgery, and she felt so guilty about it. I'm like, stop. God, don't even worry about that. Like, it's okay. She'll be fine. She's like, I know. I just, I really enjoy going to the games. So I was talking about this with one of my um, other best friends. I was telling her, like, man, you know, cheer season starts. It means sitting out in the sun, sweating to death here in the Florida heat. I know. I said, we live here. And she's like, you know, I just don't remember that my parents went to all of my stuff. I was like, what? She was, yeah, I mean, like, my parents didn't go to all of my stuff. They just didn't. So I asked my mom, Mom, did you go to all of my cheer games? And, like, when I played soccer for that whole one year, I only scored one goal the whole season. I am not athletic. And she's like, no, I'm pretty sure we didn't. I thought, huh, look at that. So then I got to thinking, I need to ask you guys because you're like my people and you guys always have great opinions. So did your parents go to everything? And if you have kids, do you go to everything that your kids have? Because I have always gone to every 
single cheer game that Lily has had in five years. Okay, that's not true. I have tried to go to every single game. There was once I think I was sick, once I was out of town. I already know I'm gonna miss one next month because I'm going to Omaha, Nebraska, my first time to go visit Omaha State, but I'm gonna save that story for another time. So I know that I'm gonna miss one game and I feel guilty about it, but did your parents go to everything when you were a kid? And if you didn't do anything when you were a kid, but you have kids now, did you or do you go to everything? So when I started thinking about it, I'm like, you know, it probably builds a little more character if your parents aren't at every game, because maybe then they think, wow, I guess, you know, my parents can't be everywhere all of the time. So I was thinking like if there's maybe a couple of sides to this whole going to every single game thing, because maybe if I don't go to a game, she misses me and then she's like, wow, but I get it. Mom has other stuff she has to do. Maybe it builds a little more character if we're just not all on them all the time. So I don't know, comment below and let me go, uh, let me know. Did your parents go to everything that you did when you were a kid, sports related, dance, whatever? And if you have kids now, um, then do you go to everything that they have now? I am just curious. You know, and I mean stuff like dance recitals or dance shows or football, swim, or you know, any extracurricular activities, anything that falls underneath that. All right, and finally on Coffee Combo Wednesday, I want to preface this because I'm 99.9% .9 sure no kids watch the show, but just in case, I want to give like a little disclaimer now that we're going to be talking about grown-up stuff. But like I said, I'm 99.9% .9 no kids, sure, no kids watch the show because it's Coffee Combo Wednesday, it's in the morning, why would your kids be watching? But I want to be, you know, aware that that is in the realm of possibility because this show also lives on my YouTube channel all the time and kids have access to Facebook. I'm not going to curse or anything, but I'm just going to talk about something adult <laughs> that happened and I got to get to the bottom of it. All right. When I was little, my mom loved the family feud with the guy that always kissed uh, everyone on the cheek. Remember that guy? Why can't I think of his name? He'll come back to me. Okay. So Family Feud is on now, and I don't really watch it, but my mom loves it. So my 13-year-old has been over there, because my kids love to go over to my mom's house, which is above the garage, and they love going to grandma's. And so Richard Dawson, thank you, Shelby. Uh, so my kids love going over there, and one time my daughter, <laughs> my 13-year-old, she came home and She's like, I have a question for you. Thankfully, my mom had already texted me and prepped me what happened. So my mom calls, actually she called, and she's like, I gotta tell you something. So I had Family Feud on, and I was getting dinner ready or whatever she was doing. Lily came over to tell her something, and this was the question. Name something teenage boys hide from their parents. So everybody says, da, 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 da. and what comes up? Daddy! Conducts. My mom's like, I'm so sorry uh, that she heard that because my daughter was like, what the conduct? So I was free. So she said, uh, you need to go talk to your mom about that because she wanted me to be able to have that conversation with her. To which I went on to explain that, I don't even want to tell you what, <laughs> it's so ridiculous what that said. I panicked and I said, oh gosh, I don't I shouldn't even tell you. This is way too weird. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm just gonna tell you. So I just went into this full awkward, awkward turtle conversation because I just wasn't like even though my mom told me, she called and warned me by the time Lily came over here, she was already asking me. So I said it was something that married couples use after they have a baby so that they don't have another baby, right? right away and to preface that I have already had the talk with her several times we try to keep in constant communication about that when she has questions or whatever which is very rare she's still like she's just newly 13 but I, I panic but that's not all so that's my situation I know please don't judge I don't I don't know I panicked okay I will remedy that situation soon okay then the other one was, I see one of my friends in Atlanta, Titania, 
she posts on her Facebook page, um, yeah, so remember that time Family Feud is on and the question is, I wrote it down, name a part of your body your lover would nibble on if it were a snack. And what's the answer? Breasts. And her nine-year-old is in the room and she goes flying for the remote. I mean, I'm not watching it with any regularity. Um, I've watched a couple of like when they do like the celebrity versions because a friend of mine was on with another friend, so I was supporting him. But when when did when did Family Feud become like this? Was it always? I do not remember it being like this. And I asked my mom that because she used to watch Family Feud when we were little, and that Richard Dawson guy was on. And oh my gosh, like is this the norm? Do you guys watch Family Feud? Was it ever like this? Because my mom said it was not like this. And I, as a kid, don't remember it being like this. Like, was it risque? I mean, this is like, not risque. This is like blatant risque. And it's on like at 7 or 8, right? So it's not like it's on at 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Or am I just way too conservative? Like, I mean, what happened? Family feud, not so family anymore. And I like Steve Harvey. I like Steve Harvey a lot, actually. But come on, Steve Harvey, like, that's crazy. I mean, do they put like the TV 14 or TV 16 above, <laughs> above that? Oh my goodness. Because guess what? I will never have family feud on in my house again, because it's not family, not friendly, nothing about family feud is family. Related. It should be like adult couple feud or something. I'm just saying. And I have two examples. So it's not just one, it's two. It was me and a friend of mine. What is up? What in the world? Okay. <laughs> that is Coffee Combo Wednesday for today, Wednesday, August 29th, 2018, episode 124. You guys, it is almost September, which means technically it's autumn. And so it's a perfect time for. Pumpkin spice latte, because like I said at the beginning of the show, pumpkin spice, oh nice. And so I thought I would give you guys a pumpkin spice latte. And not just one, and not just two, three. I'm gonna give three of you a gift card to go to Starbucks and have your first pumpkin spice latte of the season. Or maybe you went yesterday, like I did with my mom and we already got a pumpkin spice latte. Um, and if you don't drink pumpkin spice latte, it's not specific to pumpkin spice. You can get something else. Um, but I wanted you guys to have a coffee on me. So what do you have to do? PSL for pumpkin spice latte. Just comment below PSL and the name of the city and the state where you watch Coffee Combo Wednesday. Uh, congratulations to Shelly from Lakeland, Florida. I think that's like an hour and a half from here. She won the Not So Scary, um, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party prize pack from last week. So all you have to do is comment PSL and the name of the city and the state where you're watching Coffee Combo Wednesday. I will pick one, two, three different winners by a week from today. So what you wanna do is come back to this episode. If you're watching this on YouTube, head over to my Facebook page to enter and you will have a chance to win a free pumpkin spice latte coffee or whatever you drink at Starbucks. So we will pick three winners um, by the show next week. And then we announce the winners right here on this week's episode. So if next week you're like, oh, I want to find out if I win. Well, I tag you and then you just want to uh, come back to this week's episode, which next week will be last week. Are you following me? <laughs> and so three of you will enjoy the pumpkin spice and latte season and be basic along with me because I'm all about it. Bring on the hoodies and the scarves and the Ugg boots and judge away because I am all about my basic, uh, basic pumpkin spice life here in autumn going into, um, into the season. Hey, speaking of, got this little cute thing here. I thought I'd show you how many days are left. <laughs> about that yesterday and I just thought it was so fun. My kids are like, really mom? 64 days to Halloween? Because that's what it was yesterday. <laughs> yes, I'm counting down. Because this Friday night, I know I already went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party at Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World, but 
we are doing our family costume. If you guys have been following me and our family for a while, you know every year we love to dress up. So we are doing our family costume this Friday night. I cannot be any more excited because it's been like a crazy last week and a half and I almost forgot that it's Friday. I don't know how. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Thank you to Disney. So follow along on all of the socials. You can go to cindysimmons.com to link over to do that. Um, but follow me on Instagram because I'll be doing Insta stories all night on Friday night. I don't want to tell you what we are dressing up as, um, but I will give you a hint. The mug I'm going to use next week, yes, I've already planned it, has something to do with our Halloween costumes that I'm really excited about. Um, so it's kind of a crazy week, but we are going to figure it out and we are going to rock Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party on Friday night. It runs on select nights through Halloween, which means, you're like, why are you telling me this? Because we're going that next week. I'll have something super fun for you guys um, from Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. Because you guys had such a big response last week um, with the hashtag Not So Scary price pack um, from last week's episode. So thank you for that. Follow me on all the socials. Comment PSL and the city and the state where you live to uh, get your chance there for a Starbucks gift card. Um, and get your PSL um, and spread kindness like Nutella, you guys. Have a great Wednesday and come on, autumn and fall. I am counting the days and I am ready. Bring it on. Pumpkin spice, bogle the life. Have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.